Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. It is another what sold for me in a week video. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller on multiple different platforms. Lately, I have not done these videos because sales have been pretty inconsistent um, as they have been for everyone, but sales have kind of started to pick up um, on different other platforms. Um, as well as Poshmark sometimes. I'm not gonna get into that. I want to do like a separate video of where I, I talk a little bit about an update of how my business is right now. I have started doing live shows, which in a way I kind of have to eat my words um, because I said that I did not want to do them, but I decided to try them. So I have been utilizing that in some aspects in my business, which I will probably get into in another video, not this one. Just look out for either a vlog style video or I might just sit down and just talk about how business was in 2023 and do like a recap. I'm not really sure. Um, I, I need to think on that. But anyway, today is a what sold for me in a week. Now, because sales have been pretty inconsistent, this might end up being a what sold for me in two weeks. I don't know how this is going to turn out um, because I do have some no sales days. That's just kind of how things are right now. Um, I'm trying to be as consistent as I can with my business, but there's just days where I can't put much time to the business. And yeah, you know, I'm part time. But if that sounds interesting to you, please stick around. Today is January 8th. Sorry for my appearance. It is Monday. And I just need to get my shipping done. Um, I do have a few sales and they're lower dollar sales, but I am excited for the sales that I did get because I did not put very much energy into my business last week as much as I would want to. I think I did like two live sales, live shows, and then I, I listed maybe about 10 items, which is kind of like what I'm around right now. I list around 10 items a week, which kind of, explains why I don't have that much sales if that makes sense but that's where I am right now with my business and I'm happy with where I'm at at this moment um would I like to list more a week yes but yes I'm very much part-time okay let's go ahead and just jump right in today is Monday again let's go over the sales I had for the weekend I had zero sales on Poshmark but I did have a good sale on Poshmark I think it was like Friday I sold this Talbot sweater that was so cute I found it at like a local thrift store I might pop up a picture but that thing sold for $30 which I was really excited for because it sold so quickly I think I had just listed it like two days before so if you see a Talbot sweater that is this style um definitely pick it up or at least look up the comps for that specific one um, when I looked up the comps for it though it was they were very up and down depending on what style it was so uh, this one just just spoke to me you know so I decided to pick it up and I'm glad I did it sold really quickly um, and I had a couple of other sales on Friday but we're not talking about Friday sales we're talking about today's sales so we're gonna go ahead and jump into those um, but I did want to mention that sweater sale because I thought that was kind of like a bolo style for Talbots because I know a lot of people skip over Talbot stuff so if you see that type of sweater definitely pick it up just a quick you know like tip there thrown in okay so I do have one Depop sale. I do not get many sales on Depop, like at all. But I still like list over there because there are times where Depop will give me a sale when no other platforms give me a sale, if that makes sense. So I'm just very strategic about what I post over there. I don't post everything on Depop. I post my trendier, like bright print type things like this or something I know is very like Gen Z style I will I will list over there I'm very particular I don't I don't post I don't list very like career style stuff like that anyway I had listed this over there it had quite a bit of attention I don't know how many likes it has but things on Depop will go viral for you if they're very on trend and you'll get like a bunch of likes um, I had a lot of interest on this dress this is from the brand Spiegel and it was in my recent, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, uh, Ben's haul. Um, and it's a really cool style dress. It's like a linen blend. Very nice. Someone had commented on that video and said that this brand was like some kind of like catalog brand back in the 90s, which I knew it was vintage. I just did not know if it was worth much or anything. So I had this listed for 35 and someone had liked it and I sent out an offer of 23 60 and um they accepted that and they actually paid that's one thing on depop that i do not like is like a lot of times 
people will either send you an offer and you accept and they never pay or they'll accept your offer and never pay. That's kind of irritating. <laughs> it, it reminds me a lot of eBay, but that's happened to me quite a few times. But they actually paid. Um, I made $19.60. Every time I go to the bins, my cost of goods is under $2. I don't know specifically what this one was because what I do is when I go to the bins, I get my average cost of goods. So if I spent $30 and I got 30 items, everything's going to be a dollar. Does that make sense? So I'm not sure of the cost of goods on this. Um, but I know it was under $2, so happy with that. Um, I had one eBay sale, and it was this uh, turtleneck sweater, which I was excited to see go. This is from the brand New Directions. I had it listed really low, um, I think at like $12. I was just trying to, you know, get it gone, you know. Um, and it's just a nice sweater. It has, you know, just the knitting style on it like it's just a knitted sweater um i sent out an offer to someone a watcher for ten dollars and they accepted which was great because that was actually on a live show that i had last week and i think i had started the bid as low as like three or four dollars on that so to make ten dollars i'm totally fine with that because that was given to me from a family member so cost of goods was zero all right so i do have one that i have on a hanger Okay, so it's this right here. This is from the brand Andre by Unit, which is just like a lower boutique brand. But I did pick this up at regular Goodwill because I felt like it would do well. It has the embroidery. Um, it's very boho, very Johnny was s style. <laughs> it's on a hanger though because I was trying to get some of the wrinkles out because it is 100% rayon. Um, and I was looking at it, I'm like, it's so wrinkledy. I know if it was me and I received something like that, I would be so upset. But in the process of trying to steam that, I actually burnt myself and it was very painful. <laughs> but this sold on, where was this? Yes, Macari. This sold on Macari for $23.33, which is so weird that Macari's doing that weird scent at the end now. But anyway, um, after cost of goods, not cost of goods, after fees and everything, I made $19.61. I did pay $5 for that. So you would take that away from um the 1960 this was also a live show um item that um i had put up the bid as low as like three bucks so the fact that it sold for nine dollars and 56 cent on macari i'll totally take it because i was trying to get rid of it this is something that would just not move in my closet it has really cool embroidery on the back it's from the brand pink victoria's secret this is definitely a brand that I'm going to be really careful about picking up in the future. Um, it's just not moving like it used to and not getting as much um, traction as it used to do. Um, you know, things just go out of style that were once very trendy. Anyway, $9.56 $9 after fees and everything. I made $7.62. I'm pretty sure I almost lost. That might be a loss because I think I paid like five, six bucks for it. Um, and then if you took my time for it, it technically was a loss, um, but that is okay. Sometimes we have losses uh, and I'm just thankful it didn't sell for like the three or $4 and I was able to get a couple of extra bucks for it. Um, so that was great. And then these, I believe are also a loss. It's the first of the year. And honestly, for the past couple of weeks, I've just been trying to move things. That's why I have been doing live shows. I'm just trying to remove the items that I know in my closet have been setting for a while. I just want them out of my inventory system. And this is another thing I'm going to like mention when I do an update. I'm being very particular of what I pick up and I will talk more about that in my next video or the video that you maybe saw before this. But anyway, these were a pair of Circus by Sam Edelman. Now, would I, would I be, pick up something from this brand again? Probably, but I would want my cost of goods to be really low because this is like a, what is it called? Like a, another, not strand, but you get what I'm saying? Like another line of San Edelman and it's the lower tier. Um, and this brand is sold at like TJ Maxx and stuff like that. These are really cute, but they're not in the best condition. They are pretty worn. Um, learned my lesson with that. <laughs> just to make sure that something's in good condition before paying up for it because I did pay like probably four or five dollars for those at regular Goodwill which 
obviously now knowing I would not have done that but finally sold for five dollars and ninety cent on Macari and then I made four dollars and forty one cent that is definitely a loss and that is okay we're moving things <clears throat> but anyway let's go ahead and get these packaged up um, I'm gonna usually on these videos I just speed up that process and you'll see me packaging over here which I actually don't use this desk for packaging usually I have a small table that I pull out but that's too small to even show you but I'm gonna be doing it right here let's go ahead and get everything packaged up most of this stuff is going out in poly millers except for the shoes I will put those in the box Okay, so it is currently Wednesday. Yesterday was kind of an eventful day. Um, we had some um, severe weather here in my area. So I did not film yesterday. I didn't even do anything for uh, the business because basically from the time we or I woke up um, until probably like six, seven o'clock at night, we were having really strong winds and then we had some severe weather come through. It's pretty nerve-wracking, but thank you, Jesus, for taking care of us. Um, I currently have a cold. I woke up with a cold yesterday morning, just not feeling good, which is, it really stinks. But I'm I'm probably going to skip over the, sh the packaging portion of this day just because I have quite a few orders. And I'm on a very, very big time crunch this morning. I have to, I have an appointment at 1 o'clock that I need to get to and yeah I just don't have time to actually package them right now so I will probably package them when I get back from that appointment or later tonight and these will be sent out tomorrow morning I will get my mailman to come pick them up but yeah let's go ahead and go through these orders um all of them is from Poshmark I have here I think five which as you guys know Poshmark is just up and down. Um, I'm actually doing promoted listings right now, or not promoted listings, what is it called? Promote your closet. I'm doing a free trial. I need to make a video, like I said in the previous clip, I probably will sit down and do like a video of just like updating and just letting you guys know what I think about the live shows and what I think about the promote your closet. And I probably will do that as soon as this trial is over. So uh, just look out for that video and I'll just let you guys know my thoughts. And if I thought either of them were worth it, the pros and cons, um, I will work on trying to get that video up soon. Okay, let's go ahead and go over the sales. All right, so I have a couple of dresses. So like if you're, if you're, if you got dresses that you have sitting around that you have not listed yet, I would say list them because I have some dresses that have been selling. This is from the brand Chelsea 28. This did not sell for much, but I believe that this brand is pretty good. Um, here's the tag. Um, it's really nice brand. The issue is it is flawed. It has some discoloration. Hopefully you can see that. It has the stripes and then it's like a sheath style, just straight, but it has the trumpet sleeves. It's a really nice dress. 
it's like an off the shoulder but there is some staining somewhere on here and I'm, I'm not sure where it is at this moment but I know in the actual listing I I mentioned it um so that's one that has been setting because of the flaw but it finally did sell for $12 um I have a zero cost of goods in that because that was given to me for my mother-in-law so I made seven dollars and three cent from that one which I'm fine with just because again it has the flaw to it I think it's around the neckline yes oh, okay yes as you can see around the neckline there is like discoloration all across it you might not be able to see it on the camera but in person you can definitely see it I decided to go ahead and list it because at the time I was in need of inventory and I was just listing whatever I had and whatever was given to me. I've since kind of like changed my mind about that. But anyway, okay, moving on. The next one was another flawed item. Um, this was one that I got in a thread up box. And I believe this one, I mean, this thread up box specifically was not bad. Um, and this is a nice dress. It's like, um, it kind of has like a, I don't know what you would call that. Um, don't know at this moment accordion style H&M you probably know the tag it's a really nice dress the issue is um, the actual it comes the tie is still there but the little place over here where the tie goes through on the other side is unhooked like it came undone um, which is not like a totally big deal they could probably fix that um, but again it's just H&M and for it to be H&M and be flawed I wasn't expecting to get much out of it, but I at least wanted to get my money back on that item, which I did. I don't remember the cost of goods for that one specifically, but I know it was under $5 and I made $5 from it. It sold for 10 after fees. I made $5.03. I'm pretty sure I pretty much, I probably broke about even, which is fine with me for a flawed item from a thread up box. <laughs> okay, so next I have this Chico's this was one that I probably should have looked up comps for it was just I thought that this was going to be a very desirable piece it just didn't it did not move like I thought it would I thought it would sell really quickly um there is some discoloration on this one that I did not see in the store so that's probably why it's set but it's a really cool like faux suede open front um blazer style it's an older Chico's piece, as you can tell from the tag. I think the reason why this one did not move is because of the discoloration that I'm not really sure where it's at right now, but it was in the listing. Um, and that was one of the items that I had actually found a really good stock photo of, and I listed it on eBay as is, and I got, <laughs> I got in trouble. Um, so I will definitely say like, be careful about using stock photos on ebay i knew that already i was just taking that chance but now from now on i will not be using stock photos as the first picture on ebay because i don't want to get in trouble oh, okay sold for twenty dollars paid five um after fees i made 16 and then you would subtract the five so i made 11 for that all right and then next one I know for a fact, I have not checked the um, promoted listings listing thing on the computer today, but I know these were sold from promoted listings, um, so, or promoted closet. <laughs> these are a pair of Hudson jeans I've had listed for like over two years. I, oh my goodness, I'm so glad to see these go. I've even tried to like <laughs> auction them off for like three or five bucks. And nobody wanted them but it is a smaller size size 26 I don't usually sell jeans but when I first started um, when I first started reselling um, my mother-in-law gave me a bunch of clothes and that was part of that lot that she gave me so Hudson jeans sold for ten dollars made four dollars and seven cent after two and a half years of holding on to them okay the next item um, the next item is this Patagonia jacket this was a really good pickup. I don't find Patagonia often. I think in the past two and going on three years that I've been reselling, I've found Patagonia twice. Um, 
actually maybe three times, probably just twice. So I found this recently and it just was not getting enough attention like I thought it would, but it is a smaller size. It's a, it's a size small, men's small, and it does have some wear to it. But of course I saw it and I was like, I have to get it. It was like a really good price. There's a hair on it. Sorry. Um, it was a really good price. I think I paid like $6 for this. Since um, that happened, um, I've saw that Patagonia at my thrift store, I guess they realized it was an expensive brand. Now it's like $15 because I did found, find some Patagonia pieces recently and I decided not to pick them up because they had them, they had them up really high and I probably should have picked them up. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, Ooh, my brain. Okay, so that sold for $40. Um, after fees and everything, I made $29.98 and then you would take away the $6 that I paid. So yeah, that is my sales. I am not going to package them up right now because I actually have to get to this appointment soon. Sorry, you guys. I am not feeling good. Hope that whatever this is will just pass quickly because woof. But yeah, I will see you guys when I get more sales. Um, if I don't do an update tomorrow, I will try to do one Friday. Um, yeah, see you soon. <laughs> Okay, so today is Friday. I'm hopping on here for a quick, like, update just because I did not film yesterday um, my sales because I was feeling very bad. I'm still not 100%. You can probably tell just how I look right now. I'm not feeling the best, but yesterday was the first time in a very long time that I actually stayed in the bed all day long, um, which I haven't done in a really, really long time. I can't remember the last time I felt so bad that I stayed in bed, but, um, I did get up and try to do a couple of things, but every time I got up, um, I just did not have the energy and I had to lay back down. So anyway, I actually been having some pretty good sales considering I have not been listing this week. I've barely put any actually at all, nothing into my business this week, except for shipping out orders, um, because I haven't been feeling good. So what I'm probably going to do is since I've already shipped out orders yesterday that sold Wednesday and Thursday morning. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm just going to go over those and I will just pop up what's sold here on the screen so you can kind of just see. So um, I can't remember what days, but pretty much all, most of these were just on Wednesday. Um, so except for... Yeah, pretty much the, all of them were Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. And then I think I had a couple Thursday. Anyway, who cares? Let's just go over the last, the, the sales for the last couple of days. All right, so I sold this Gucci box. Um, it's like, a, it was a small box that my mother-in-law gave me a bunch of Gucci, like empty boxes from either where she had bought Gucci stuff or a friend or whatever. I decided to list all them because if you have any kind of like, um, boxes, anything like that, that is, um, for higher end items. A lot of people, t a lot of times people will buy them to re-gift things and whatnot. So, um, I had quite a few boxes. I think this is the last one to sell. I think I have sold absolutely all of them. And I think she gave me like six, um, from different sizes. So this is the last one to sell and it sold for $12. It was small. I sold for $12 after fees and everything. I made $7.03. I was happy with that. Um, zero cost of goods. Next thing I sold was a men's Uniqlo 100% lamb's wool brown sweater. This sweater had a, had a lot of attention and it actually sold, I think, twice on Depop. But the, the individuals that bought it did not pay. So, of course, that sale was eventually canceled by Depop. So, anyway... This had a lot of attention on all platforms. Um, so Uniqlo is a really good brand, I would say, pick up. I wouldn't pick up everything Uniqlo. Um, Uniqlo being U-N-I-Q-L-O, I believe. But women's and men's pieces uh, um, do, do well. I think I've sold one other Uniqlo piece, and it was a women's piece. Um, I believe it is a Japanese brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. This sold for $28.00. Um, after fees and everything, I made $22.40, and then you would subtract the $5 that I paid for it. I'm estimating $5. Technically, I paid $4.99, but $5. Okay. Um, next one was a loft plum skinny trouser pant. 
Um, I got this in one of my thread up boxes. Not quite sure which one. I think it was one of my better ones and it was new with tags. Really nice pants, but of course it's going to take a special individual that's going to want plum colored pants. Um, so these finally sold for $18.00. After fees and everything, I made $12.38. Not quite sure of my cost of goods for that one specifically, but usually my thread up pieces are under $5 each. Okay, so the next one that I sold was this Everly Olive Green Dress. I've had this dress for a really long time, which is kind of weird because I feel like this dress was so cute to me. It had some cute little buttons in the front. It was it was sleeveless, had a high-low hem. It was just adorable. I've even tried to auction this off for like $5 on my live shows before, and it would not sell. Um, it did finally sell, though, on Poshmark. All these are Poshmark sales, by the way. Oh, my gosh. I completely forgot to say that. The sales that I've went over so far have been Poshmark. Anyway, it finally sold for $20. I'm happy with that. Um, after fees and everything, I made $13.98 and I'm pretty sure I paid like $4 and some change for it. Okay. And then a newer piece that I've list, I listed recently, um, is this Harley Davidson striped sweater. I just was really excited to find Harley Davidson. This is not a piece that I would feel like is going to sell for a lot of money because the Harley Davidson pieces that are going to sell a lot are the ones that have the Harley Davidson logo or anything to do with the brand Harley Davidson. But I still picked it up because I was excited to find it. It was in decent condition um, and it finally sold, not finally, I listed it like a few weeks ago. It sold for $20 um, after fees. I made $16 and then I paid $5 for it. Okay, and then I had one eBay sale, which was this really cool find, this Calvin Klein um, plaid. I almost said gingham. I believe it's plaid. Plaid blazer. This was a great find I got from the bins um, because it was a size 16. And I know a lot of people pass over Calvin Klein, but I'm telling you guys, Calvin Klein will sell. If it's a, um, a plus size Calvin Klein, Calvin Klein piece, like blazers, dresses, like more of their um, outerwear pieces, their evening gowns. I sold an evening gown from Calvin Klein. Um, it's been about it's been about six, seven months ago, and it sold for fifty dollars. And it even had a flaw on it. I think it was a size medium. I could be wrong, but it was like a smaller size. So do not sleep on Calvin Klein. Okay, I know a lot of people sleep on it. Do not sleep on Calvin Klein especially their career style sheath dresses with the exposed zipper in the back those sell so quickly i've had such good um good sales from their um dresses but anyway and then the last sale which was from today i've had one sale today um but i was even though i was in bed i was sharing my closet a lot so that kind of is probably why I was having good sales and I was sending out offers and everything just was not listing. But anyway, I need to start my share for the day. I just have not turned on my computer. Okay, so this finally sold. I thought this would sell so much quicker. This is a dress belt from J Crew, and it's a newer J. Oh, sorry, it's a newer J Crew because the J Crew is in cursive. It is leather. It's really nice. Um, and it's a size. Who knows it's a size who knows i can't i can't remember oh medium excuse me so this finally sold a really nice belt really nice dress belt um and it sold for i didn't run it down i'm pretty sure it sold for 20 dollars. so after fees and everything because that sold on poshmark i made 16 dollars, and i think i paid like a dollar 50 for this I, i'm pretty sure because belts are pretty inexpensive and inexpensive <laughs> inexpensive at my goodwill um so definitely look in the belt section of your goodwill okay that is it for today um i'm gonna go ahead and close this day out i'm not gonna package this on camera but if you're just curious i'm gonna wrap it in some um paper and i will probably send this out in an actual box like maybe like a 1097 box from the usps just because i don't want it to be all crumbled up in a poly miller so that's probably how i'll ship it out Hopefully, I'll get some more sales today. If so, I might pop on here tomorrow. Um, but if not, I will see you guys on Monday. Um, and um, hopefully, I will see you with some more sales. <laughs> it is Monday, January 15th. Excuse 
the mess behind me. It is Monday and I am running behind a little bit today on everything um, as usual. So I'm about to get my shipping done. Sales were not the greatest over the weekend, but again, like I said, I think in the previous clip, I, I was sick all last week. I did not put pretty much any work in. Um, I think I listed three items. Um, so I'm not surprised that sales were not great over the weekend. Anyway, the one sale I got, or I, actually I got two sales, but anyway, I, I sold this on Poshmark. This is an REI. Here's the tag. 100% um, silk. I believe this is an underlayer. Great brand. The issue is I didn't realize when I picked it up that it has a bunch of pulls in the back, which now I know that even if it has pulls, it will still sell. It just won't sell it for as much. So this sold for $21. I'm super happy with that considering it is flawed. Um, but if you find the REI 100% silk long sleeves like this, um, they... The resale value on them is decent, I believe, um, if they're not flawed. <laughs> okay, and then the last item is just a very random thing that I decided to list one day. Um, has it been too long ago? I don't think. But I got this from the bins because I thought it was really cute. Came home to find this one's also flawed. It has flaws under here somewhere, I believe. But anyway, little cute girl's dress. I do not list children's clothing um very often unless it's just a piece that i want to list i don't have a lot of children's clothing clothing i used to list a lot of children's clothing but i found it was not very profitable obviously because i mean no one's gonna pay like 25 dollars for this does that make sense so i sold this for seven bucks i was fine with that someone sent me an offer for that i think i had it listed for 10 bucks or something like that eight to ten bucks so that is my sales from the weekend not the greatest but again i was sick last week so i was not expecting them to be fabulous or anything so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know this was kind of a weird one um because i did not work much last week and sales have just been kind of up and down and it's my fault this time because i was not putting in the work um but i am feeling a lot better I, when i say i'm 100 percent, i feel like i am kind of my cat is like behind me jumping on something anyway i feel like i am i'm just still recovering we'll just say that but i hope you guys enjoyed this um what sold for me this week I have not done these one of these videos in a really long time and I hope to do them again. I might change up the uh, the way that I do my what solds and I might even do like a what sold for me in the week like just setting down and showing like the screenshot of them. I feel like I wanted to do those videos but I thought they would be a lot of work but I think I'm going to try to do one um, soon and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.